I'm Pat Lincioni here with Chris Stefanik, and here is your three-minute reset. I'm thinking today about the integration of work life and family life and what a challenge it can be and the dangers that come from airing too much on either side. Mm. Sometimes we bring too much of our work home and our lives become about work. And that can be a bad thing because then it seems to our family members like that's what we live for. But oftentimes we don't integrate any of our work into our home life because we're busy with our kids and we know that we're there to serve them. And then our jobs become something we do when we're away and, and nobody really understands what we're going through. And this can be a problem too because we learned we get separated from and our, our kids think that what we do doesn't matter and that they don't have to understand it. And we separate from our spouses a little bit because we have relationships around our work with people at work. And then we go home and we're dealing with crayons and picking up the house and driving carpools. Mm. And so what we want to talk about today is just the importance of finding that balance, that right balance of integrating our work at home so that people feel involved, but not overwhelmed. You know, there's two things that I, I find helpful with finding the right balance. Number one, I, like you, love my job, right? So it's really easy, especially if things aren't going well, to get wrapped up in what's going on at work and dump on my family. And I have to be intentional about shifting gears and remembering that, you know, it, it's not game time when I go into the office as much as it is game time when I walk in that door and I see my wife and kids. That's that's the more important than whatever's going on at work. So it's helpful to find some trigger, some stop sign I'm passing near my house to say, that reminds me, get your, get your real game face on. Get in the right gear. You're walking right. in the home. You know, I remember growing up that my dad came home frustrated almost every night from work. Mm. And, and he would tell us about it, which was good to know some things about it, but it was largely a negative experience. And I understand now that he worked at a tough place and it wasn't well managed and all that. But we need to be both transparent enough to let them see who we are yeah. and know that we're not perfect, but at the same time, not bring it home and actually be down because something at work isn't going well. So it's an interesting, it's such balance. a balance. And I think one great way to make sure you, you share that work life at home, I tried this for the first time the other day. We were all sitting around for dinner and I said, let's share a high, a low, and a God moment, a graced moment from today. And not all the kids knew what to say, but they saw me lead the way. And you know, sometimes your kids are going to go, I don't want to do that. And so just do it with your spouse yeah. and just go, hey, you know what happened at work today? This was great. Ah, uh, this, this didn't go well. Mm. And you know something? One of the coolest things that made me feel like God was right there, your kids are listening, mm. and it's going to affect them. So let's pray, Chris. Lord, help us to not live two lives, but one integrated life, and to be a blessing wherever we are. Thank you for work. Thank you, above all, for home. Amen.